imagine if you were asked to sort through all of this by your manager before the end of the day. Looks difficult, doesn't it? But actually, there's a really easy way to do this. So as we can see from the top here, we've been asked to categorize this by name, department, email, and phone. So you could technically start writing this out if you want to, but we're not going to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on B3 here, and we're going to use the shift key on our keyboard and the arrow down key. And we can either manually keep pressing down or we can hit control and down at the same time whilst keeping hold of the shift key and that will select all that information there. And then we go to data at the top. So if we're on home, we go to data and then we go to data tools, text to columns, and we will get this little screen up here. So what we want to do is keep this as delimited. So characters such as commas or tabs separate each field. So we go to next. What we can do is we could say, okay, we want a specific character to decide when that information needs to be categorized. So for example, here, if we hit space, we can see what that would look like. So that's not right. Cause as you can see there, we've got Charlie, right? We want that together. So that isn't correct. So instead what we want, let's try semicolon. Nope. Other. So what we want is this little dash in between. So let's go ahead and grab that and copy that in and we can preview this. So there we go. Here we've got name, department, email and phone, and that's what we want. So we're going to hit next and then we're going to hit finish. And then we can select B with the left click of our mouse all the way to E and then just double click on the end here to make those columns auto fit. We could even make this a bit fancier by hitting bold and underlined if we want to and then doing the same thing again. And there you go. So all that information has now been categorized correctly and you can save yourself a bunch of time.